We know we can sort data in Excel so that we can have things in ascending or descending order, but there are times when you might want to find out where somebody's position is within a list without actually sorting the list. For example, let's take our dancers file. We have here the results of our dancers for each of their three exams. And what we'd like to know is where they rank compared to their peers. So instead of sorting exam one by descending so we can see who's at the top place, we're going to add a rank function in to do the working out for us. So the rank function works by comparing an individual value against a range of values and telling you where in that range of values the individual value occurs. So we start with equals rank, open brackets. First we have the number, well that's the value we would like to rank against the rest, comma, and then the ref is the rest. Well the rest are these results here for exam one. There is then an optional parameter of order that we'll leave blank for the moment. Close brackets and return. And I see that Jill is 600%. Well, that's just formatting. So we need to remove that back to general. And she's actually in sixth position. There's only seven of them, so she's nearly last. We then want to replicate this formula downwards. Before we can do that, we need to do the clever little absoluteness. So B2 to B8 needs to be fixed. So we can do that with our F4 keyboard shortcut. B2 doesn't need to be fixed because I want to be able to copy this formula downwards and for it to then rank the next person. So Jill is in sixth place, Gemma's in first, Zoe's in last, and everybody else is in between. So let's just put some center alignment on that. Now can I copy that set of ranking formulas into here? And we find NA, 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 because it's trying to find even gives me a little error there. Value not available. We know that, thank you. Ignore. Because it's trying to rank percentage there for Jill on exam two, but against exam one results. So I actually need to move this range to look at exam two. Return, replicate, and we find that Jill is actually in sixth position for exam two as well, even though she's got 65%. This time Gemma's in first, again. And Zoe is moved up to fifth. So let's do the same for exam three. Let's just copy the one formula because we know we need to change the references, which is the reference to the range to look up in. And Jill is in sixth still. Replicate downwards, and we find that Zoe has made an amazing comeback in exam three by jumping up to first position. That's the rank formula. Rank the number you want to rank comma, the range you want to compare that number against, and then tell it where in the list you appear. Now there is an extra option there at the end called order. If we explore that now, if we put comma, the choices are zero for descending or one for ascending. If I now choose descending and return, we find that the values are descending from one to wherever. So the highest score is in first place. If I then change that to one, which is ascending, what we'll then find is that Jill's actually in second and Mike is in first. So in this case, the lowest score is the best. Because sometimes when you want to rank a position with some exams or some scoring systems, the lower the score is better. Therefore, the person with the lowest score will be first. In others, as we have here, it's a percentage thing. So the higher the score, the better. So in our case, that needs to be a zero or left out completely because it defaults to the zero if it's not there, and we have the correct ranking. Now our overall ranking is really made up of an average. If we say average of the three values, so Jill's average is 51, copy that down, we get everybody's average, and then we can rank their average, individual average, against everybody's average. Let's absolute that now, because we know we need absolute. Again, Excel's been helpful by formatting the cell. Sixth position overall. Gemma is in first overall. Sally is in second overall, even though she had a fourth and a third. And in last place altogether is John. So he's our worst dancer, and Gemma is our best. Or most consistent, should we say. So that's rank. Takes an individual cell value and compares it to a range of values and tells you what relative position in that range of values your single value comes.